Boo! Fart! Pooty poo! Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton. I'm your humble narrator. Welcome back to Rainbow Six Siege. Yes, jumping straight into a match as we like to do all day or day. Hopefully we're gonna perform well, but you never do know. I'm gonna be Jaeger because I feel like a bit of roaming action. It's really nice to be a roamer, you know, go up, flank the enemies, uh, get some sweet kills, and apparently I'm the one that's loading the slowest, probably because recording and and such like that. But not not too long. Nope, not long enough for somebody to be like SSD or whatever. They whatever. We need to I don't want to hear about it. Container. So okay, secure area should be relatively easy. Get my armor. Get all armored up, and then uh, we'll armor up some of these walls as well. That should be helpful. It's a nice big room. And, uh, yeah, since it's not hostage, I don't have to feel bad about placing my ADS in the room. Because if you're playing hostage, then, uh, don't generally put the ADS in the room. Let them blow up the hostage if they want to. If you're playing secure area, yeah, ADS is a good thing to have. And I will deploy my barbed wire. A little more ADS in case they come through that window. And I should probably, uh... I'll probably board that window up as well. They will so there we go. During the I'll set up. Nice and three of them. Hide that signal jammer with the, uh... The whatnots, and Mute's gonna get the windows. Okay. Cool. I'm off. I'll see you guys later. Uh, Vigil is also roaming. He's down on the... The first floor. But I don't think they're gonna bother with the first floor if they know that the objective's on the second floor. So, uh, we'll see how it goes. I wanna shoot these cans. <laughs> Wow, look at those physics. They look like they're filled with cement or some shit like that. They didn't go very far at all. Okay, but now it's game time. Gotta sit back, listen for just a mom. And uh, Vigil's making a bit too much noise for me to, to listen very well. So thank you so much for that. And keep an eye on the staircase. That's a nice tight corner to peek. Oh yeah. Heck yeah, boy. And uh, I think I said in the first or second episode... Oh, God! <laughs> it's Sophia. Yeah, I think I said in the first or second episode about holding those tight corners. Um, able to get a nice early kill on Sophia, so that's super sweet. And, uh, yeah, I didn't go down. There was a one-for-one one exchange. So now we're at uh, four versus three. No problem there. I ain't too worried yet. Not until you get a... Uh, a couple people different, you know, three versus one, that's when you know the match is basically over. But, uh, we're doing alright. They're doing alright too. Not completely dead. Uh, they did get scammed with the camera, looks like an Ash and a Dokuti around. And, uh, my phone hasn't rang yet, so I need to be wary of that while I'm out roaming. Because then I'll need to get to a, a safe spot really quick. So, let's go peek around here. It looks like Dokebi's down, so my phone ain't gonna be ringing none. And then, uh, there's another one-for-one one exchange. So three and two. That's alright. My, uh, my little pick-off at the beginning of was really good. I probably shouldn't have shot just then. Yeah. Ash, uh, had a beat on me as soon as I let off a couple bullets. You generally don't want to shoot unless you're, uh, completely uh, sure that you can kill the, last kill the enemy. Oh, uh, and now we're at, uh, in a 1v1. So, so that's... This is going to be interesting. Just hold your breath. Everything's going to be fine. Oh, God. <clears throat> so, yeah. Um, I did make a, a pretty big mistake there. We've got somebody in the hall. Who is that? Who is that? Oh, I don't know. My camera's down. But, uh, yeah, I shouldn't have fired on that ash. That was a twitch, a twitch movement. Um, you know, a little bit of reflexes. But really, I should have taken the time to line up the shot, or uh, lured her into thinking that it was safe, so she would have uh, peeked out a little bit. Even, even just uh, walking over and sneaking up on her without firing those shots, she was concentrated the other way until I fired on her. Maybe even uh, if I had a silencer, things could have gone different. But, uh, yeah. It'd be what it be. We're in a 1v1 Protect now, so um, I guess we'll just see how it goes. Mute. Mute playing a pretty good anchor. Oh. And that guy has revealed himself as well. You see? You see how this goes? Oh. Nice. That was a pretty bold play to run out of the room while they were securing. And, uh, 
try and swoop it around. Swoop it and loop it. Very nice. I like it a lot. So there's one for us. One match in our favor. Wonderfully done. And now attacking. Um, so many good operators to attack with. I'll give Capitao some love. I'm gonna go with the uh, Para 308 because I've got an ACOG scope on it. It's a bit better for longer range engagements, which uh, the tower has a lot of. There's definitely a lot of space to move around, a lot of very long hallways to hold, so uh, that little bit of magnification can can make all the difference in a firefight every once in a while. And none of the defenders really have ACOG scopes except for uh, heavy armor characters. Rook, Doc, I think Echo does as well. But almost all the attackers do, and uh, Capitao is 3 speed. Which is surprising, you know? He's, he's gotta be fucking, like, pretty buff to carry around a crossbow and uh, a light machine gun and, yeah, still have three speed? What the fuck is that? He's, he's buff, bro. He's used to running all day. All day, every day. And the, the only weakness that he has is he only has one eye. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how that uh, applies to the game at all because the game is already uh, one-dimensional, you know? You can move in three dimensions, but you can only see in one dimension. Which, uh, I think that adds to the realism, you know? If you want to R RP a guy with only one eye, Capitao's the one to do it with. <laughs> oh god. I'm silly. But yeah, I do love his, uh, light machine gun as well. There's just so much ammo capacity in it. I'm gonna jump down here. Unfortunately, Capitao doesn't really have any ability to breach stuff. Um, which is probably his one weakness. Go ahead and grab my drone up, because, uh, drones are a big part of this game. If you're gonna go through a door or something, you definitely want to drone it out first. Uh, sacrifice your drone rather than sacrificing yourself. Because you get two two drones if you save the one from the, uh, prep, prep phase, and you only have, uh, one life. So, it looks like we're going a little ham on this, this hatch up here. Two down already. Oh, and there's somebody over there! Jeez. That was that was bad. He picked off a couple of our guys before we got him. I think it's Vigil. But yeah. Not good is what I will say. I'm gonna get rid of the signal disruptor and the ADS down there. And uh I don't really wanna drop in, but one of us is gonna have to at some point. Capitao's not a bad choice to drop in though, because uh he's got the smoke grenades and stuff. We'll go ahead and see if I can spot somebody with the drone. I do see somebody right in the doorway over there. <clears throat> and let's check this room. Yep. Is that Frost? Yeah. Hello. Hello, Frosty. And she picked off one of my drones. That's okay. I've still got one more. I can try and uh, hit this doorway. And hopefully, hopefully make a little trouble for somebody. I do hear Frost setting down another trap. So that's not good. So I've sealed off that doorway with some fire. That's pretty good. And then the frost went down, so I think it's safe. I know that the guy is uh, gonna come from that way. Oh my god. And that dude got caught in a trap. Caught up real good. I don't know who that last person was, but they, uh, they weren't interested in going towards the objective, so... That's fine for me. Good deal! <clears throat> I would have fired that second fire, uh, arrow into the doorway where that guy was trapped, but... Obviously, I didn't want to kill my teammate, because that's how you get kicked. Get kicked real quick. Let's do Frost. This is a, a character that I most recently unlocked. <clears throat> and, yeah. She's pretty damn spiffy. You set down your shield or barbed wire and hide a, an incapacitating trap under it. Break some dude's legs when they walk over it. Shit's pretty sweet. And uh, even once you die, you have, you know, three chances to to get a kill, so I like that. Or not a kill, but you know, help your teammates to kill somebody. Secure the which is really what this game is all about. Container. You know? You don't need all the kills. Come on. Don't be greedy. A greedy PD. Alright, so uh this should be a pretty easy place to set up some traps. We got those windows there. Although I don't normally see people coming yeah, through the windows. This is definitely not um a popular window peeking kind of map, as most of the other ones are. The wall. 
The first uh, week or so that this map was out, I saw people doing that a lot, but um, apparently it didn't work out so well. Down to 10 seconds. <clears throat> Anyways, a little bit about Frost, aside from her uh, four mats, which break people's leg. She's got like a really nice pump action shotgun, and then she's got this old school uh, machine gun, which kind of shoots slow. I mean like really slow. But luckily that does make the, uh, the recoil relatively easy to handle. I'm gonna try and set up my shield right here. I think it's too close to that signal jammer. Boo. Boo! Fart! Hootie poo! Well, this isn't working the way I'd hoped. Whatever. I don't think anybody can fit through there anyways. We'll just do this and that. Gotta set up some of these traps before I end up dying somehow. <laughs> Because if I don't get the trap set up and I die, I'm going to be really sad. Wow. Welcome, Somebody was shooting through the window. I take back everything I said about people not doing that anymore. <laughs> um, another thing about Ready Frost is that uh, her... She doesn't have access to a foregrip for her gun. So she automatically has like this, uh, this grip that makes you go into your aiming mode. Uh, I think it's... What? Auto aim or something like that? One up, With the reticule. Remaining. That's what I mean. Wow. They wiped the team out. I didn't even do anything. <laughs> they wiped them all out before I even set up my floor traps. I feel so, uh, so useless. Well, we'll get this fella up. Come on, little buddy. We're gonna save ya. And yeah, you can see how quick I go into that aiming mode. It really does make the difference in gunfights. Holy shit. And there you go. Check it out. Easy 3 and 0. Flawless victory. Wonderfully done. I didn't really do anything that match except get the last kill, but hey! Last kill's important. Then you get to watch my replay. And I got MVP by some fucking stroke of luck. <laughs> some sort of miracle. I'll take it. Whatever. Anyways, friends, this has been a short one, but it uh, has been a full match, so thank you so much for watching. This has been Rainbow Six Siege, I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you did enjoy the episode. We've also got links for Patreon, uh, Discord, Twitter down below, all of those nice things, so uh, hit me up on one of them. I will see you in the next one, friends. Thank you so much for watching, and until the next time, bye bye One, two, three, four, goodbye, goodbye, see you. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friend.